Okay, so here we are. We are doing the back wall of the hotel. And I always like to put on the, the wallpaper first before I assemble the hotel. That way when you put the everything on, it's going to be seamless. The wallpaper will all go up to the next level, to the next um, floor of the hotel. So this is our main floor here. And this is the back part. And so the floor is going to be down here. And this will be how it's going to look. So if we can just take a little picture, step into the future, and picture this with the little couch down here. So this is going, the whole entire um, back of the hotel, I have measured where each, I have measured where each level will be so this is the first floor which is going to have the couch and a fireplace and some chairs and a check-in station um, to check in to the hotel and then the second floor is going to be a restaurant a restaurant bar and so that's going to start about here and it's going to have the same wallpaper as the first floor and then above from here from the second floor up to the sixth floor it will all be rooms and for the rooms i'm going to do this for the wallpaper so i take the back part of the hotel here and i'm applying all of the wallpaper and so we're going to put these two here and then we're going to keep going up until I have wallpaper all the way up to the top Okay, so here it is. Um, this is the entire back of the, it's kind of hard to see, <laughs> the entire thing. So here's the first two floors, the base floor, the restaurant, and then we go up into the, to the rooms up here. So, so you see the brick. That's the outside of the building and the front will look just the same way and then I'll have windows. There'll be windows here, but you want to get all your paper on first if you can. It's just easier that way. Um, and then you can start cutting the windows and it's easier to cut and do the windows too before the floors go in, but I, I'll have to see how that works because I've never done a building this quite this tall before I mean always use your your calico critters to judge the height of things before you make your furniture so, there you go. so that's the front desk the hotel and I think what we're going to do there's many things you can do with the cardboard you can paint it um, you can put fabric on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm either going to use some of this stuff here and cover it in that so that it matches the lobby. And then you can always tweak it and decorate it from, from there and just go ahead and use your Elmer's stick to apply that to the outside.
it's amazing. You can actually make like all the furniture. I'm going to be making all of the furniture, all everything out of this foam board. So much you can do with this. I'm going to make some cuts here, one in each corner, like that. I'm just going to wrap it like a present. <laughs> Fold these in. Let's glue all of this here. I really like this stick. This glue stick is really good. And you can fold these two parts down. That way you have a nice edge there. And then more glue. And then fold this top part like this and you have a nice perfect edge there and you could change the paper like if you don't like this I'm just using the scraps that I already have but see how that makes a nice desk and then you can detail it a little bit we're going to fold this over, but to do that, to fold these over to get more of a clean edge, we're going to have to use the glue gun for that because the paper glue won't, you, won't work on the foam. So, use the glue gun for the heavy, the heavy job. Amazed at how hot that glue gets. Yeah, watch your fingers for sure. The glue gun isn't entirely friendly with paper, but it will kind of tend to make it a little stiff and sometimes warp it. So you don't want to use the glue gun to apply the whole thing, but I think that gives a good finished edge. So there you go. We have our, our front desk. Matches the floor perfectly. Just thought about that the last minute. It'd be good. Could finish that a little bit more, like make it round it. Like if you've ever been in a hotel, ever been behind one of the desks, you have kind of rounded edges like that. Just kind of a little rounded there. But no one's going to see under inside this part, so I think it makes a perfect front desk for the bellhop. And then I'm going to use these old frames that I had sitting around. I'm going to put that in the wall and then the keys are going to hang there. So just these little ideas that you have, but all this stuff is going to be made out of. Now we could put a countertop on this if we wanted to improve the look a little bit. We could put an extended like counter, a marble counter or something on it. So... You can dress it up too. You can put wood sticks on the side and kind of detail it. We, we are going to do all that, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so we have the back and the sides, and now we need to put the wallpaper on on the sides. And that way, when we put the whole, whole entire hotel together, all the walls will be done and we won't have to try to reach in there and cut. It's very difficult to do the inside of the rooms when it's all put together. So which, what, what I'm going to do is, oh, and FYI, this glue is better than this glue for the 
wallpaper and the exterior paper. When I did my other video, I showed you um, that I used this tacky glue and what happened after was not very good. In fact, I have to put that down in the description box. I'm just learning. I'm, you know, I don't know really how to do this. I'm just kind of learning as I go. And the glue stick is better, far superior because the paper lays flatter. And if you use this type of glue or Elmer's glue, it's going to bubble on you. It's just over time, it's going to like bubble and have spaces. This one does a little bit, but not quite as bad as with this glue. So definitely use a glue stick for all of the exterior paper application. If you're, yeah, that's what I think. It works better with the cardboard. Okay, so now we're going to do the inside wall. So I have to measure, I have to keep it in line with this part. This, these are the first two floors of the hotel. And so the wallpaper comes up to this point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this on the cardboard where these come up to going to put a mark here on the inside of the cardboard over here so I know how far to go up with this wallpaper. And same on the other side. I run my ruler edge over it after the glue is on and I put it down. I do this and it helps to take all the bubbles out. And this is what it looks like now that all the walls are wallpapered. So I have both sides and it's wallpapered. So just wallpaper the whole thing on both sides mark where your floors are going to be repeat that on every level on every and then we're going to repeat that on the rest of the floors so now we have all the floors walls on now the whole thing the ceiling. I just left the wood plank and then we have all the wallpaper down to the bottom. So this is like one big box basically. It wasn't easy to glue together. I'll take you around the side. You can see so the outside is the brick. And so that is the main body of the hotel. Other side here, that's brick as well. And then you have all the wallpaper. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install the different floors of the hotel. And so we'll put those in, and I think we're going to need some stabilizing around the base of those to keep them from bowing. So that's what we're going to do.